What's up? I'm Grizz, and welcome for another <laughs> new show, I guess, uh, where you're dead mount death play. I have no clue what this is going to be about in the slightest. I have zero idea. I'm literally just looking for things to fill this Thursday, Friday, or Saturday slot, like between there, because I have open days to do things, and Thursday's a good day for me to kind of record and get stuff done. So I'd like to fill one of those days with at least something on here. So we're just moving through the fall. <laughs> I'm not doing another one. So I guess we'll just end up seeing if we like it. Uh, I, it's by Geek Toys I saw. I've never watched anything by them. Never seen anything that the, the director has directed before. Well, I'm just going to it. I could easily fill these slots with something from the past, like before. But the problem with that is, for me, it's a bit hard to sit down and be like, I got 10 episodes to go and they're all out and I can watch them all right now. Versus oh, one day a week specifically, I sit down and do this one thing and then I don't have to stress about being like, well, I could do more if I had time. It's like, it's easier in my mind to be like, I literally couldn't do more if I tried because there's no episodes out, you know? I don't know if it's just something I'm telling myself, but that's easier for me. So we're just going to keep moving along through the spring. <laughs> and do it something else uh if you like it all hit the like and subscribe do mean a lot to me feel free to stick around for the discussion leave any comments about this series or this episode in general as well as recommendations for any other shows that you might want to see eventually you're going with episode one. Oh shit he's got the cult leaders with him and shit <laughs> all right so we're just ripping dudes apart off stuff. <laughs> that's one way to get people hooked I'm honestly a fan of these sound effects that they're using so far, as opposed to like something like ReZero, which <laughs> has the worst sound effects ever. <laughs> I still love it though. <laughs> I'm not saying all that, dude. I'm not saying all, uh... Oh shit, we're pulling out the CG early. Let's go, boys. It's time. The CG skeletons. <laughs> Oh my. Oh. Okay. Cool start. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on, but cool start. The reincarnation. So this guy's gonna die, I'm assuming. The music's so dramatic, dude. It's so grand. I like it, though. Oh, shit. They're doing a black hole. The void, bro. <laughs> bro, they just summoned the fucking dragon. Wow, okay, these things are gonna hurt my ears. <laughs> this is like slime if you ever watch that. The fucking sound effects of the whatever, the audio it just goes crazy. Oh, really loud. I have no fear he's got this, but I don't think he does. <laughs> I don't even know what this dude's powers are, but he's doing- Oh, okay. He just summoned an entire army. So is that, I'm assuming, the dude, our main guy now? Is the one that they're telling that? This guy? Damn. Cut right through that thing. Oh, he had, like, red eyes, so maybe it's not him. Oh, no, I guess it is. Yeah, okay. The evil eye. See shades? Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, be yeah. <laughs> Yeah, buddy can't even get any help. They're just like, all right, you got this. Oh. That's the point. Oh. So that's what we got to get, though. 
<laughs> Your game ends here too. Uh, so epic, dude. <laughs> uh, Oh, well, now it's clearing. Okay, well, he died, though. <laughs> it's okay. Where am I? Oh, so he's like future, future now. So reincarnated into the future, which tends to not be a route I think that they usually go. I don't watch a lot of reincarnations or isekais often. Because a lot of them tend to be like, ah, uh, I'm mid. So they killed somebody in the future and then he died in the past, so his soul was reincarnated into this dude to keep him alive, maybe? <laughs> Little spell, no. You're at the train station, brother. It's a world of peace, but it's not in reality, nope. You just kind of pretend it's not going on, all the stuff in the background are going on. That's just because he doesn't speak the language? Yeah. Pulling the names from the brain. <laughs> Why do you speak like that? <laughs> what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Running your pockets. Why is she so strong? Whoa, 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 whoa. We weren't expecting. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I got no clue what's happening, I'll be honest. So why are you still alive? Okay, that makes a bit more sense. I thought she was on our side for a second. No, okay. Now what if you die again? <laughs> we go even further into the future. Us retrievers, so people pay. Gotta kill them. My man's only 16 though, he can't be that. <laughs> Playtime's over, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> oh, you can move pretty well, though. It's just kind of creepy. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> some, some shit I've never seen before. No. <laughs> uh, we hang people here. We <laughs> experiment on them. She really loves her line of work, doesn't she? <laughs> uh, you're crazy. Mm. So he still has them. Well, now he's got his words together. Alright. Gotcha. Mm. 
Oh shit, he about to turn the fuck up. He got his magic powers. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That's so raw. What is that a drone? They're just watching it? Hold on. So you won. Yeah, you got that shit right there. Or did he just teleport out and he could be back? So are we going to be playing between two different timelines? Ha! Hmm. So he's gonna use her? No, she's dead. Okay. <laughs> you killed her, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Alright, so I feel like I have no clue what just happened, but at the same time I feel like I know exactly what just happened. So I'm just gonna lay it out and then let me know if I'm right or not. <laughs> Essentially, what it seems like we have is the first half of the episode was set up between a the corpse god and this other guy who was the, the, whatever is the hero in the situation, uh going against each other basically to save humanity or that's what the hero was trying to do at least and basically they fight a whole bunch uh some shit goes down it's pretty it's pretty well done the animation seems to be pretty on point and pretty good so far uh which comes as a bit of a shock because i was expecting it to be not very great for whatever reason just because i've looked through the things that geek toys has done and as far as i'm concerned none of them are things that i've at least heard of having like a really well done animation and art and stuff like that so Seems decent enough so far. It seems pretty good. Uh, and the overall, like the sound effects and everything that they were using are very over the top, next level. They're they're very similar to if you've ever watched uh, Slime or if you've ever watched, uh, what was the other one? Trinity 7, especially the movies. The, the sounds that they use, the audio and sound effects and just everything that they use is so over the top and loud. It's basically like you're listening to something with bass boosted and the, the vocals of the people are lowered like 30% in comparison to where the, uh, the actual like music and everything else comes in and that stuff kind of sometimes can get annoying. And then this one, it was hurting my ears a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Maybe it's just the way that I am, but it, it definitely was up there. But it sounds like some good quality stuff. Not like if you've ever watched ReZero. ReZero's got some of the worst sound effects, in my opinion. Uh, love the show, though. It's literally one of my favorites. But I do not understand why White Fox continues to use these. Regardless, with all that being done, it made it very dramatic, cinematic, uh, and just very fun, I guess. I actually enjoyed that part a lot. And usually, I'm not the type of person. I'm more story-driven with a lot of stuff. So me watching... A lot of action and fighting and stuff isn't the most interesting usually for me and i feel like i don't get the best reactions and stuff like that but i actually found myself pretty interested in that especially a way to open up and you know start off this episode so i thought that was really well done and cool basically these two fight uh i believe unless i was alone on this i believe they lead you to believe that the hero in the situation ends up dying and is unable to save everybody in this world and then we see him wake up and gets reincarnated into this new world, the future, basically. So he gets reincarnated further ahead, but he's not reincarnated to the point that he is like reborn as somebody and has to like grow up and all that. He's put into like his soul is basically put into somebody else's body, somebody else who just died uh, and he's put into their body. So from here, he has to learn a whole bunch of stuff with his slit throat and everything, which was <laughs> kind of wild. Uh, and then we meet this 
this psycho girl who comes up to him who they kind of she leads you into an alley so that should be the first sign that there's something wrong with her also the fact that she's just jumping on policemen and stuff but she instantly like for whatever reason i thought she was going to be on our side and trying to get us away from them and trying to get us away from danger but instead she leads us into this alley and tries to kill us again uh because she's the one who's killed us before and then from there she basically just goes insane and we're trying to run away and we're trying to do something but we don't have magical powers we don't have anything that we've had in the past basically so we can't do anything but what we end up seeing is we get brought into a room where she talks about how they use that place to basically kill a bunch of people uh and we find out that the evil eyes that the villain in the past had uh are actually in our new main character's body which is basically when we get confirmation that the villain is actually the one who would have died or did die in that situation and not the hero so things actually worked out well in the past uh, and from there though, I don't know if he actually died or if he was on the verge of death and he was able to use a spell that he has to transport his soul and everything in him. And he was able to go and into this, uh, into the future and into this new world. And now he still has these eyes while he's in this future because they're not something that's connected to a body or something like that. They're connected to the soul of a person. So he is able to transport all of that and some past information and stuff, I guess that he has with him as well as obtain the information and stuff within this new person's body, which is really cool. From there, he still has no magical powers, but because all these people are dead around him, he's able to like absorb anything from them, I guess. Uh, from the the spirits and stuff that he sees with these eyes and he's able to use that to gather up and use power against this girl and he summons something uses a spell and kills her uh, i think that's essentially <laughs> the way that this entire thing went so is it an opportunity for somebody who was evil in the past to just kind of start over and clean cleanse himself in the future here or is it the opportunity for somebody in the past who was evil to come into the future, not die, and then take over the same way he was attempting to do in the past? I wonder. Uh, I also wonder, based on the the hero in the past being like, oh, I wonder, like, you know, is this the last we're going to see kind of of the dude? Like, is this something that we're going to be kind of going between both timelines and playing around with both of those a little bit? Or are we going to be strictly stuck here into this future timeline? Uh, and they just kind of wanted to show you that to let you know exactly what would have happened in the past there. I don't know. Really interesting though, uh, with a lot of the stuff there, uh, definitely interested to keep going and at least give it another episode and see, you know, where this is eventually going to end up going, but I don't know if there's too much more I want to really get into it because like I said, I don't know if I fully understand everything about what I just watched. So I'll hopefully pick up a lot more on it during the edit and then hopefully some comments and stuff you guys can leave that'll help me out a lot. And I'd greatly appreciate that. So that's going to be all for me for episode one though. Uh, if you liked it all, hit the like and subscribe. It mean a lot to me. Feel free to follow me on Twitter. My enemy list, both links are in the description. Leave any comments about this episode or series in general, as well as recommend maybe anything else that you want to see me watch at some other point. I'll be back for episode two eventually probably. And yeah, you have a Good one. See ya.